It's an evil world we live in. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail. jail. If you want a man to love you, don't talk to him. How did you know? I didn't say don't talk with him. I just said don't talk to him. You smart. You very smart. Men will tell you when they have something to say because they are task oriented. Um, that's true. That's fucking true. When a man talks to a woman, he has something in mind. Okay? A beginning, a middle, an end. My work here is done. Something has been accomplished. <laughs> Women are drunk drivers on the information highway. We don't have to have a point. We just talk. We just talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She the one. Oh, yeah. Did you allow your girl to go to her ex's funeral? You mean if I killed him? <laughs> When you don't feel the dingling, is it because his dingling is too small, or is it because you have a loose pussy? What do you mean by that? Don't worry. Either way, I have a solution for you. Introducing to me and my kitty pops, these right here are gonna restore your pussy. If you have loose pussy, it gonna suck it together and make your pussy tight. So even if you have a loose pussy or you have a regular pussy, but you know his dingling a little bit small like this, you know, do 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 do. It's okay. This kitty restore pop pill is gonna tighten your pussy up so that you can feel his meat. <laughs> Our generation bow, bow, is officially bow, over. Fuck a plan B. Them little shits don't need work. Let them nut all in my guts and then I go and pop my purse. Let them nut all in my mouth. I think I got some on my shirt. Kept my $50 and I went and blew it on some yurt. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't no motherfucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no, ain't no motherfucking way, boy. Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. She belongs to the streets. They, they make cans of pickles so hard to open. Like, it's almost impossible to get the damn can opener on the top of the freaking pickle can. But I have a solution for you. I realized this tool is a multi-tool, right? So instead of trying to do this or, you know, trying to get it around the lip, it's freaking impossible. It drives me nuts. But you see this? I had no idea that this was for pickle cans. Watch. You gotta get it just right. You have to just give it a minute, get it right on the lip, and it will come right off. You can do any camera on the lip. Look. <sighs> and then it's just so stupid. I just feel like. I, I pour them just into these because there's no way to get the top back on. So I just pour them back into these and then it just makes it easier every time you open after that. So follow me for some more tips and tricks. Thanks. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Sir, why are you pulling me over? Ma'am, we're looking into something. I need to know where you were between five and six. Kindergarten. Women don't self-identify as broke. Ooh, no. Of, no, no, no. Let's just start right there. I'm telling you why. Subconsciously, women don't identify themselves as being broke. They say it's not That's a dude not broke what it is. because he can't take you where you can't afford to take yourself. Broke is a mentality to me, and that's why. I All right, your it. mentality and your bank account is broke. Oh. You're goddamn right. When you're going through your man's phone, <laughs> for all my girls that do that, when you're in the messages top left corner hit edit the very bottom option says show recently deleted oh my god did you know this that's dangerous it literally pulls up all my deleted messages Woo! and then you can literally tap on them and hit recover and you get the messages back and then it goes back stop playing this is for the girls. I love you guys. Going through someone's phone is the easiest way to show your partner how insecure you are. For these women to go this deep into finding deleted messages just shows you how low their self-esteem is. 
Last Friday, the Department of Education backdoor changed Title IX and essentially eviscerated women's equality in the United States of America. The Biden administration changed sex-based discrimination to discrimination based on gender identity. Effectively, Joe Biden just said to every educational setting that men who identify as women can take academic scholarships and admission slots from women. And if you, a woman, complain about any of it, you, the complainer, can be charged with harassment. What we're seeing is a collision between two views of reality. One is that external facts determine reality. The other is that internal feelings determine reality. As soon as you erase external facts for internal feelings, you allow people with mental health issues to then be in charge. This is the problem with progressivism. It's facts. It's not facts. These sizes are not facts. Isn't it kind of funny that now that women work, all the jobs they do are just stuff they would have done at home? Like y'all really convince women to go take care of other people's children and other sick people and go manage other people's finances instead of just doing that for their family. And in doing so, now you've doubled the tax base and if they don't want to work, their husband has to work twice as hard and also convince them that even if he is working 80 hours a week, he has to come home and do 50% of the chores. It's almost like the whole point of this was like to turn women into wage slaves and like break the American family in half by like commodifying their natural proclivities and telling them that being a stay-at-home mom is a bad idea. Now we have like half the successful marriages, half the children being born and your dollar goes half as far. Ha ha, yay! But it's not all despair. Like fellas, if you find a good girl, you should make sure that you can work as hard as you possibly can to keep her home with the kids. And ladies, by the way, if you find a good guy, which is not a guy who will use you as a human fleshlight that you met at the club, and if enough of them succeed, what does that really say about you? All that man wants is cooking, cleaning, children and shut the up every once in a while oh and don't use sex as a weapon it's evil if you can do those like five things you're more valuable than gold never mind 25 dollars an hour to look after somebody else's shitty kids now you get to do all these things that you like to do for your loving family who cares about you instead of trying to do that and work for a giant corporation that doesn't care if you live or die or being an indoctrination camp babysitter it's actually a way better idea My nigga. <laughs>